Nowadays, robotic process automation RPA is an unstoppable digitization trend. And robotic process automation is a software technology that enables businesses to automate repetitive tasks which transforms tedious manual process for automation with RPA tools such as Blue Prism, UiPath, Automation Anywhere, Microsoft Power Automate, Microsoft Power Automate for desktop and other RPA tools which are easy to use comprehensive RPA tools that helps the organization rapidly create and scale attended and unattended automations. In this session, we will learn what are different phases or stages involved in RPA lifecycle. Robotic Process Automation, RPA, bringing together people, process, technology, and information towards effective digital transformation. The life cycle of RPA doesn't have a defined structure, but overall, there are five crucial stages to ensure successful automation in RPA. There are one, planning phase, build or development phase, test or UAT phase, deployment or production phase, and finally, we have maintenance phase. Let's discuss each stage in detail. Let's start with planning stage. Planning stage is the first and crucial stage of the RPA lifecycle that works to select the right automation process to define its goals and identify the process that can be automated. If we deep dive into the planning stage, some organization having two different phases or stages in it. One is discovery phase or evaluate stage. Another one, solution design stays. In the discovery phase or stays, the RPA process architect analyzes the requirements of the client. Then it is further decided whether the process can be automated or not. If the process can be automated, then the RPA analyst team might involve the RPA architecture team and analyze the complexity of the process. Furthermore, the business team and the RPA architect strategic work together to create a high level implementation plan that helps in making their analysis more foolproof. Finally, benefits associated with the automation are noted down. The second stage in the planning phase is solution design stage. Based on the requirement, the steps to automate the task are designed. The RPA technical architect in collaboration with the process architect develop a process defined document PDD, which includes information about the whole process. They follow the development methodology and develop a strategy to automate specific tasks to reduce manual work as much as they can. Besides, there is a requirement of few documents that will come in handy for an effective RPA development, which includes solution design document SDD, process design document PDD, technical design document TDD. All these documents contain all the information that will be requiring the developers to process each and step in depth. After analyzing all the requirements of the clients by designing a PDD, other requirements get priority and included budget, time spent, number of people currently working on the given task and so on. Thereafter, there is the creation of a flowchart to get an understanding of the process flow. It will be in turn helping in understanding which steps need to automate and what their needs are. Afterward, the developers choose one of the best RPA software tool to automate the given task that results in developing the board for the perfect task automation. Next stage or phase is development phase or build phase. In development phase, the RPA developer creates scripts or boards to automate the task within the chosen RPA tool such as UiPath, Blue Prism, and many other RPA tools. Automation scripts or bots are generated by the following the previously developed PDD, that is process design document. Generally, there is no requirement for coding, 
but it may change depending on its task to be automated. Now, once there is a development of a suitable bot, the next stage is set for testing for testing the developer bot. In simple terms, in development stage or build stage, the RPA developer design and develop scripts or bots to automate the task. Next one is the testing or user acceptance test stage. In this phase, the RPA development team tests the developer bots. These bots are tested in a pre-production environment to examine how the users can use them to automate specific tasks. Testing of the bots is conducted by some companies by separate testing team. While many organizations have their own committed testing team that performs testing using QA tests just like a normal SDLC flow. Companies having testing team members that excel in QA testing are the one that gets access to bots with automation. If the testing phase gets passed successfully, then it further transferred to the next stage. Besides, if the testing fails, then it transferred back to the development phase or build phase where our peer developers examine the errors found in the testing phase and solve them. Once the bots get successfully tested, then they are transferred the bots to the deployment phase of the RPA lifecycle. The testing stage involves the verification of the solution functionality and performance. Next stage is the deployment or production phase. The bots are deployed into the production environment when only they have completed the development and testing phases. After the deployment process, user can use them to automate their tasks. If there is a still a problem with the bots, like bots are not automating, then they will further transfer to the RPA development and testing team. The development team will again analyze the bots and resolve the problems. After resolving the problems, the bots are moved to the final phase, that is maintenance phase, in that they are having execution and the supporting of the bots. The deployment stage involves the actual implementation of the RPA solution. All right, the final phase is the maintenance phase. In the maintenance stage, the RPA solution is monitored and updated as necessary to ensure continued functionality and efficiencies. In the maintenance phase, again, we are having two types of stages. One is execute bots, another one support phase. In execute phase, includes the execution of the bots after deployment. Bots are also checked to ensure that the implementation is performed as per the requirements. It is the crucial phase of the RPA lifecycle where the execution of the bots occurred after its deployment so to generate meaningful results for the development team. Besides, the bots get in checking mode to ensure that the implementation has occurred as per the requirements of the customers. Next one, support. It is the last phase of the RPA lifecycle where the bot after its execution becomes available in public or in production. In this current phase or the support phase, the team is ready to offer continuous support and maintenance to the customers if they found any defect in the given application. Those RPA service solutions are considered as best that have the best support and maintenance services and offer an immediate resolution of the flaw even after the production is in hand of the users. I hope you understand the different phases of the RPA lifecycle as part of this tutorial. If you have any queries in this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.